for me. It's just that I'm too big for the shadow of Jesus. I had this picture in my mind that the Lord gave to me of, of Jesus. And he was a very small man. I looked at Eli, my youngest son. Who you, most of you know how big he is. And I, the picture I had of Jesus was half his size. I hope you can picture that. Think of Jesus being a very small man. Half the size of Jesus. Half the size of my youngest son. Small. And Jesus was telling me, follow me. And God was saying, he who dwells in the shadow of Jesus is the one who follows me. I used to always think of Jesus. We think of Jesus as big man. We think of Jesus as big, able-bodied carpenter. But in, in, but in the view of how God looked at it, in order to follow Christ, God, Christ was a very small man. And what God is asking me to do is to dwell in the shadow of Jesus who is very small, which means I too have to become very small. Dear brother and sister, think of yourself, think of your troubles, think of your problems, think of your issues. How big are you? How big are you? Are you fall walking in the shadow of a very small man called Jesus? Or do you think you're big and your problems are big? You're not that big. Your problems are not that big. We just have to become very small. Philippians chapter 2. We know this passage about Jesus because we memorized it. Have this attitude. Have this attitude in you that was in Christ Jesus. Who became a very small man. Who, although he was God and existed in the form of God. Ephesians chapter 2, you can turn there if you want, verse 6. Did not consider equality with God something to be held on to, but became a small man. Became a very small person. And he emptied himself. Emptied himself of all of that bigness that was him that existed as a form of God. And emptied himself and became a bondservant. Even a slave, a very small person. He who walks... But Jesus has to walk in the shadow of Jesus. If I think that Jesus was a, could be a very big man and I can be a very big man, I have a big shadow to walk under. But the Jesus that came and was despised of man, who had nothing that we should behold him, he was a very small man. And God is asking you to become extremely small to fit in his shadow. If you fit in his shadow, there's a lot of rest.